should probably go like lighter beers. And... What's happening, guys? Hey, how, you hey, how you doing? Guys? Good. Brought us hey, uh, Jason and Wally. Dave. Dave? Mike? Stelio, nice, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mike? Mike? Michael. Nice to meet you, nice Mr. Stelio, sir. Jason? Yes, Mike. Nice to meet you. Hey. Jason? Nice to meet you. And we are Steel Tank Brewing. Awesome. Right. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having, having us. us. Please come on your grab seat. Traditionally, when, they, when we do tastings and stuff, we always want to go like lighter style and then maybe like go into like heavier, you know, lighter styles with lighter steaks and then go into like more marble and then heavier. Yeah. 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 Beers. Yeah. Just like wine, it makes perfect right. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're looking for our lightest, last we yeah. have our, our light lager with us right here. We call it the Jam and Jenny. Yep. Awesome. So you guys have a military background. You're yeah. honoring the military. and awesome. veteran. Awesome. I was attached to a tank battalion. I was infantry, 3rd awesome. Infantry Division. Thank you for your service. God bless. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so we don't offer cans right now at all, but it would be. I think it would be great to have like a something to distinguish you know what I mean like have something different and you got tall know. boys of this yeah, yeah we'll have exactly. tall boys of steel tank yeah, yeah. Right. that's yep. all I have yeah, well if, if anything especially for for Jason and I and, and Dave as well one of the very first times I met Jason which is probably going back 16 or 17 years yeah, the very time. first time our very first conversation was talking about meat in beer. Yeah. We've come full circle. So yeah. this is the absolute yeah. first circle. So you're providing the meat, we're providing the beer. Yeah. So these are the ones we can reliably expect will be in cans Correct. all the time. That's, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. They are definitely our mainstays. Yeah. yeah. It's got a great aroma. Right. So yeah. I'm not Today tasting, I don't service. drink, but cheers. cheers to you guys. Cheers. 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 Thank you. So that the aroma on that is Excellent. Yeah, so you kind of nice get like sure. a slight little apple. Yeah. And then it's uh, mostly the, the bready characteristic that comes from the Pilsner malt. It's, it's 100% all malt, and we use the highest quality stuff. We really don't spare um, any expense when it comes to, if we know a particular malt or ingredient is going to produce the best, highest quality product that we can produce, we get it. Yeah. It hurts our bottom line a little bit, but the whole concept is that we get the highest quality product out to the consumer. That's what we believe in, and that's what we want to always do. Well, the beautiful thing is, like a lot of light lagers, it's got nose, but in this case, it's actually got body. It's yeah. got flavor. Right. You know, yeah, a little pineapple often you'll get the there. nose, and then yeah. there's a little pineapple, pineapple there. Yeah. So, yeah, like it's, a ripe, just, it's super ripe pineapple. In it's, nose. A, it, yeah, it's just a really good, super clean lager. This would go great with like seafood, yeah. I think, you know, a nice lean steak. Oh, yeah. I, chicken. Would, I, I would compare this to, uh, yeah, um, just nose wise. So I haven't had a white wine in a few years, but it knows why it's kind of like a, almost like a Sauvignon Blanc or a, like yeah. a crisp Chardonnay kind yeah. of yeah. In, in, that, in that aroma range. Mm -hmm. right. So you guys want to dig in the salad here. Let's, let's, uh... Or to be fair, we can clear the salad and get steak on the table right away. I like the way you <laughs> unless, like, unless you really want salad, that's fine. Kind of what we're so we're in here right. at 5 o'clock, the steakhouse. At 5 right. o'clock. At, well, at, hey, yeah. it is actually. Yeah, yeah. We're not here at steak, 5 o'clock salad house. Even though family style salad is tremendous here. Yes, yeah, yeah, turn them out. Different direction, yeah. Great. I see you all with your branded uh, nice shirts, too. I like that. I like Got to represent. Oh, man. We have so, a tear gas and Punisher would be the Hazy IPA uh, and standard IPA. So let's start with the fillets and kind of go. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay. So, yeah, just because it's saving. Yeah, the IPA is with When the you get into fattier steaks, like you might start losing some flavors. I'm just saying because the, the heavy, heavy marbled steaks and the charring and the basting. We we brush all our steaks with a very light basting sauce, and so like a light beer. Yeah, it's it's not going to be a terrible. It'll be a good thing, but. The carbonation will be fine there and it'll bounce it up, but you might lose some of the flavors in that, in like the lager or like the Pilsner there versus like the IPAs. So like, the, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, I mean, try it and see and you tell me. Yeah, the uh, acidity and bitterness is going to go great, I believe, with like the fattier cuts. It's going to really yeah. cleanse your palate in between the bites so that you really taste the steak, okay. and then you, uh, the beer is a little bit more refreshing. We're gonna wipe that away, so the next bite of steak is like a brand new. That's interesting. Bite. Okay, and yeah. you really so that's what you want to look for. Something with a strong flavor to stand up to the steak. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. complimentary yeah. pairing, and then like the standing out difference. So some things sure. go good just together because they have like-minded flavors, and then other times it's the contrast that really builds each thing into its own. Sure. Marbling on a, on a soup like a ribeye oh, oh, is? is like really <laughs> intense. And sometimes like if people are drinking like a you know, Pinot Noir, it, they might lose like 
thirty percent of the flavors in that mm-hmm. wine because gotcha. what's happening in their mouth is so much going on. Their mouth is coated, their palate is coated with the nice. gas. Yeah. You. And a Pinot Noir just can't hold up to that fat. Sure. Whereas the acid and the tannins in a in a Cabernet are gonna start cutting right into <laughs> the fat and the marbling in your mouth that you even after you swallow the steak, yeah. you still got that, your mouth is still, your palate's still coated, right? Like after you have a piece of bacon, you still taste bacon. Yeah. You still got your mouth coated. You still yeah. you get that, you know, and uh, so that's part of the magic for us. So that I'd nice. recommend grabbing from this Sorry, plate, yeah. this plate. You got the New York strip there, which is also a little bit. Clockwise yeah, yeah, yeah. position, sure. this is in front of me here. Yeah. And the other forward. component with our steaks, because of that, all our steaks get seared in an 1800 degree broiler. Nice. And then with that, that very light basting sauce, we, we literally brush it on there and sear it on. Well, okay. everybody talks about wine and steak, right? You know, but a beer and steak is classic, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it may not be the things people think of in sort of haute cuisine or something, but what goes better with a, a nice steak like this than a, a refreshing, like a colch like this? Beautiful, yeah. clear. Especially on a summer day. Compliments to the chef. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good good awesome, man. Great. The ribs are probably go good with that jam and Jenny. Just they're not like crisp, refreshing. And we'll see. We'll see. I'm That's interested. Good. I'm a big fan of IPAs, so I'm gonna get to those. You are a big fan. <laughs> big fan. Okay. Well, would you say IPAs is probably one of our top requested beers? Probably. I would say so. You need some more beer. Which one? Yeah. Which one are you thinking of? I'll try that Amber next. <laughs> are you sure you don't want to try the um, the hazy? If we're going light the dark, that'd be the next one. The hazy? Then let's do that. Yeah, let's okay. do the hazy. Wow. Like, all these beers, it, to me, can be classified as what I like to call the Midwest style. Okay. Because yeah. everybody in the Midwest, you know, we don't like things you fast. Serious? You know, things take a, you know, everything kind of takes a back seat. People like things to you know, like chill, like do stuff like this, like to hang out with a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. They like to relax. You know, they don't want to have anything super fast paced. Mm-hmm. People want to sit back. They want to relax. <clears throat> they want to hang out with their friends. They don't want to. They don't want to just sit there and pound something just to get drunk. You know, when I design these beers, I literally make them to the point where people want to sit back to it. They want to enjoy it. They want to appreciate it, and they want to appreciate the people that are with. A lot of citrus on that, and yeah. you get a lot of lemon characteristic and, mm-hmm. and even lime characteristics. Yeah. Yep. And with all the you know with all the different uh, <laughs> with all the different hops that I put in, it, it sure makes sure. sense. You know, but. Um, the bio transformation really makes a difference. Yeah, like a lemon meringue pie, seriously. Yeah, no, it's mm-hmm. yeah, it's exactly. It's, it's that's, that, that's I like that. That's a really good way to, to put it. Lemon meringue pie. Yeah. Yeah. It is. That's that one's great. Yeah, like the ribs, the spicy, and the fattiness of ribs. That one helps. Like if you drink it right after taking a bite of the ribs, it kind of cuts through sure. and cleans everything up. Which yeah. Is yeah, it's a perfect good thing. For something spicy. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. People like. <laughs> Rave about our mushrooms. I was pulling. Yeah. We, 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 pull like, we pull like a bunch on those. That's <laughs> now. We, we like tell people, you know, like the steaks come with like you know four or five mushrooms. Like, oh no, we know. Yeah. We Can still I get want mushrooms two sides. Like, right. oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, your your mushrooms are no joke. It's, a, it's magic. This is magic. You downplay it. Ah. Amber, what's the amber called? Uh, Tracer Rock. Tracer Rock. Right. Yeah, that's for sure. So you're a little more caramel notes? Well, yeah, a lot more caramelization. Yeah. Toffee, there's a lot of toffee in there too. Yeah. Um, bit of chocolate. You, you get some bread, you get a little bit of coffee, you get uh, most of like, the toffee notes and everything like that. You mm-hmm. know, that's that's what kind of stands out. With this so you might want to try this with the uh, bacon sticks. All right. Nice smoky. That's really good. Yep, absolutely. Smoky, fatty. This yeah, seems like that's, a, that's a really good call. Every time I come here, no matter what I get, I always get this. And I always feel like before like I finish the last piece, I have to put a little behind no, my no. ear. <laughs> just for later, just to remind me. Uh, so, ladies uh, love the bacon. Oh, uh, real quick. <laughs> so you feel this one. Yeah, yeah, yep. Go slow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely more malty, more spice, more caramel. Yep. This is our ribeye, our oh. richest, most marble most heavily marbled steaks and on our like the sauce that the reserve the light basting sauce we brush on is very dark so people will see that darkness and think our steaks are like burnt but they're not it's yeah it's mostly that sauce we brush on sure but it literally creates like a little bit of a crispiness on the outside of the steak yeah 
which Rip keeps out. a lot of the juiciness, a lot of the moisture. That's, that's <laughs> the kind of steak. Yeah. That's for yeah. last. You know, I guess heat oh it. Perfect. The fat melts so and just it goes out both sides. Right. Just drops <laughs> on the bottom. This one. But this yeah. actually so you creates all these? a barrier yes. nice on the top start. and the bottom of the steak. Bravo. Seals it in. It literally seals it in. Yeah. It's the New York and the flame. Uh, right. yeah. But it has, it's been aged. The difference with a steak like this, a porterhouse, it's been aged with the bone. So the bone gives it a little bit more edge, a little more sweetness. So like you got a New York strip there technically and you got a filet. But that filet, you got, essentially you got a bone in filet and you got a bone in New York in one steak. With the so, same bone. Yeah, the same bone and it's got a little bit more, you know, it's it's aging with its own juice. It's wet aged. Sure. Yeah. Yes. And so you're really getting... <laughs> I like I like to think it's it's almost like uh, you know it's like slow super slow cooking without heat. You, know, you got the marrow and the juice and the blood. Right. And, you know. So skipping forward now, I mean you're you're investing in the community. You're like Waukesha. Yeah. You've invested now. You made like you chose to you know partner up with these guys and go into business together and be a part of like the Waukesha yeah. community and the greater Milwaukee area like. This is like your home now, right? Like, Absolutely, yeah. I was born and raised in the south side of Chicago, and what I was instilled in with my father yeah. was hard work, like yeah. at work ethic. You get your hands dirty, you get in, and you just get get it done. Whatever it needs to take to get the job done, that's what you do. And that's how who I am, and that's how I am. And so when I, I met these guys, and this is what they were doing. Yeah. Like, both of these guys, their work ethic, their drive, I'm like, it, it's, I didn't think I was going to find anyone that I could match right. or that would match me. Right. And it was just a really natural fit for, for the, when I met these guys. Like, are you kidding me? Like, we call ourselves a tripod yeah. because without one of, one of the legs, we fall. Yeah. So and Were you always interested in beer? Like, was beer like something that you, like... So my, my grandparents, actually, when I was growing up on the south side of Chicago, owned a tavern. They owned the local neighborhood tavern. It was called Chateau. And uh, my mother worked there. My uncles, aunts, had, like the whole family worked there. My first job was being a stock boy over the summertime when I wasn't in school. Like, just That's stocking awesome. the beer coolers. That's awesome. So I kind of feel like this was, this is my grandfather's legacy that I'm helped sort of carrying on as well. That's awesome. Um, um, you guys, I don't know if you guys know the history of this place, but it goes back. The building's over 100 years old, but the five o'clock steakhouse started uh, goes back before prohibition, and even during prohibition was a pharmacy. So, if you had the right script, you were here getting a neighborhood, you know, getting your getting, getting your, your medicine. Whiskey. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. But uh, it, it's been a neighborhood tavern. And it eventually evolved into the steakhouse. Nice. And uh, Bobby, has fe- cool. Bobby has featured the restaurant. That's how I met Bobby. Is Bobby's featured the restaurant a few times, done some historical research. It's on also Bobby. featured in Wisconsin Supper Clubs. Yes. Yep. I have that book. Yeah. I meant to bring it, but I totally forgot it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because 1946, it started as a steakhouse. It became like... They started cooking the steaks a certain way, like char broiling steaks became a thing. Yeah. And the corporate family, one of the one of the children, uh, became a chef and came up with that sauce that they started cook basting on the steaks. Which, you know, he must have done some science, or whatever, because there is a very specific recipe. Sure. So that <clears throat> that recipe, when my family bought it in two thousand four. We, we were adamant about having it exact. Yeah. And we had to be able to replicate it, and and we did, and we have. And so now that's something that I make. I'm the only one that makes it right now. And, and there's only a couple relatives that have that recipe. And uh, <clears throat> I take, you know, it's a lot of, uh, it's there's a lot of pride involved in the process, but it's like, this is like, maybe this, you know, I grew up in the business <laughs> washing dishes. So my first job in this gig was, I went to Loyola. I thought I was going to go to law school or, do something, you know, you know, more, uh, more uh, n- normal or something, you know. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> restaurant is my passion. Restaurant and music. Mm-hmm. So, especially after eating. Those like are my two. Both. I'm doing both. Right. <laughs> exactly. So essentially, that was my. From college on, I was like, those are the two things I love doing, and I'm I'm doing them. So, it's kind of cool. And which beer is this now? Amber. Nice yeah. Well, it's great when your product can stand for itself. Like no. You can sell, you can talk, you can, but when the proof is in the pudding, you're just like, 
you need to get it out there for people to try it. And, you know, yeah, you got to promote. Yeah, you got to. But when the product itself stands out so strongly, you know, and that's what that's what it is here, too. We right. do very little marketing, very little. You know, this is an organic thing. I, I wanted to meet you guys and talk and, you know, but essentially, you know, this, our products are what sell themselves, really. Like, we, if we did zero advertising, there'd still be somebody that would be telling somebody across the country, oh, I had the best steak I ever had in my life. Sure. Was in this yeah. little place on the west side of Milwaukee in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, so. Yeah. So five o'clock team. So let's, would you say like, so what's two beers you feel like would be able to like go with the most diversity of our cuisine? Like for sure, I want to bring on two of these beers, possibly three of these beers. Like which would, which three do you feel like would stand out most or well, pair best with the cuisine? What was that second sure. one? Was that the tear gas? Tear that gas second for one? sure. Was the third beer we tried. Um, the amber. Also, I think it's like mm -hmm. has yeah, a multitude like of so can, you, can you bring me those cans? Yeah. Yeah. That's the hazy IPA. Okay. Your standouts. With that tear gas. Yes. I mean, with the ribs, that really, I mean, nice. it hits the spot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Definitely. Like the ribs or steak. Like or ribs, steak. I mean, or all that tear yeah. gas. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Amber. That amber. Yeah. Has a nice clean finish. So you guys, uh, um, did I tell you guys um, size? You have a knife in front of you. Very smooth. It'd be great with like dessert. Yeah, yeah for, uh, you put that bone in the head. Like tiramisu or something. Tiramisu from the way. I want to add a couple of Honestly, heavier beers like that, mm -hmm. that, because people ask for, people ask for like heavier, bolder, like. Something to go with us. Yeah, they, right. they, they right. want right. a few well, more. That's a, it's definitely a good deal. Yeah. You know, and they want nice. local. Yeah. And they want it. They want to ask me for it. They ask for local IPAs. Well, either way, we're going to be bringing on two or three of these. So thank you. Appreciate sure. you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Thanks, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank thanks you for the time. Yeah. Thanks for the opportunity. And thanks for all of your professional yeah. opinions. Yeah. 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 We love hearing the feedback. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thanks for doing a good job. I love these tasting good. You do. Thank you also for doing such a great job. Yeah, All you guys. But we look forward to adding these. So these will, a couple of these are going to be on our list. Like so, in the next week or two. So.